Okay, in today's video, we are going to talk about electric potential energy for parallel plates, charged parallel plates. Now, before we do that, let's talk about these terms really quickly because they sound similar, but some of them mean very different things. The green ones are the ones in the go in one group and the blue ones go in another group. This video is going to be over electric potential energy, which is simply measured in joules, just like gravitational potential energy or spring or elastic or chemical potential energy. These other terms, electric potential, sometimes referred to as just potential, or potential difference, sometimes referred to as electric potential difference, they are different in the sense that they're not just joules, but they're the amount of joules per coulomb at a place or between two different places near a charge. They are measured in joules per coulomb, which we call the volt. Okay, so you need to remember that this has this word energy in it. These don't. Okay, this is potential. This is potential difference. And I will make a video. We will. We. I will link here to a video over these topics so you can watch those also. Okay, but today we are going to talk about electric potential energy, and this is the situation. We have two plates a positively charged plate and a negatively charged plate. They are separated by this distance d. And because they're charged plates, there is a field, an electric field that is between those plates. And the field goes from the positive plate to the negative plate, just like it does with a point charge. But the terms and the things we're going to talk about in this video have to do with parallel plates. The thing about parallel plates that's different than a point charge is between a parallel plate, there is a uniform electric field. The field around a point charge is not uniform. Okay, it's not uniform. It uh, it's in it decreases inverse squared as you move away the distance from the charge. But this is parallel plates, and the thing you should remember for parallel plates is the u field, the electric field between the plates is uniform. Now let's just remind ourselves the definition of the electric field is the electric force per coulomb of charge. So that'll be the force on a charge that we put here in this plate, between these two plates. Now, you should also remember that we often rearrange this equation. This is the same equation. So that if we put a certain charge in an electric field, we can multiply the amount of charge times the electric field strength, coulombs per times newtons per coulomb, coulombs cancel, and you get the force. So this equation is very useful for figuring out the force on a charge in an electric field. Okay, now this equation for AP physics is on the AP physics equation sheet. This equation in this form is not. It's shown like this. So you need to kind of remember that you can rearrange that to get the force on a charge. <clears throat> now let's put a charge between those two plates, and that's a positive charge and it's stuck here on this negative charge. Now, we could just as easily put a negative charge over here, and all everything we'd be talking about would basically be the same. We'd just reverse the direction. But we have a positive charge. It's attached to this negative plate because there's a force applied by the electric field, and the force is equal to, as we said down here, the charge times the electric field. Increase the charge, increase the field, and the force goes up. Now, we want to give this charge some potential energy, some electric potential energy. Now you can think of this like gravitational potential energy where we have an object sitting on the Earth's surface or sitting on a table or some other place that we call our zero potential energy. Because really what we're concerned about when we move something is the change in potential energy. Now to move this charge, just like to move an object, we're going to have to apply a force over a distance. So as we move the charge through the field to the other plate, we have applied a force to the right. And that force that we apply is equal to the force that would be applied by the electric field. Just like when you lift something up off the Earth's surface and you move it at a constant velocity, you raise it at a constant velocity, the force you apply on the object is equal to the weight. The force you apply is equal to mg. In this case, the force you apply is equal to QE, the charge times the field. For gravitational potential energy, it's the mass times the field. The mass and the charge are kind of analogous 
terms in that case. Okay, so if we change the potential energy, we can apply a force, or if we want to change the potential energy, we apply a force over this distance, and if we apply a force over a distance, okay, in this case, or when we raise something up for mechanics, we give it some potential energy. Well, we know also that the force electric is equal to QE. This force is equal to QE. So the change in potential energy is also equal to QED. Now, this only applies for parallel plates because the field through the plates, excuse me, the field between the plates or the field through which the object is being moved is uniform. Okay? So this equation we can use only for parallel plates. Now, you will notice it looks very similar to the gravitational, which I put PE. This is kind of supposed to be the gravitational potential energy. We have an object, we move it through a field, and we raise it up, okay, for gravitational potential energy. Now, we have a mass. We here, for electric potential energy, we have a charge. Here, we have a gravitational field, a uniform gravitational field near the surface of the Earth. Here, we're moving the charge through a uniform electric field. Here, we raise the object up some distance, some height. And here, we have basically the same thing. We're raising this charge up, so to speak, some height, or we're moving it across this distance. So this is MGH. And now, you should really remember, for electric potential energy, through a uniform field, which we have with parallel plates, it's QED. OK? So I hope that will give you uh, kind of a hook to remember that. Now also, if we apply a force over a distance and we change the potential energy, that means that we have done work on the object. And when we move this force, excuse me, we move this charge from left to right, we apply a force in the same direction as the distance and we do positive work. The field is applying a force in the opposite direction, but the object is moving in the angle between them is 180 degrees, and the field is doing negative work. So we do positive work, the field does negative work. Okay? So these things are all equal to each other. The change in potential energy, you apply a force times a distance, you do work, you can calculate the change in potential energy, kind of MGH, but for electric potential energy, it's QED. So you often see these things in a textbook written like this. The change in potential energy equals the amount of work done. Well, if you do work, that means you apply the force times the distance, and you can calculate the potential energy or the change of potential energy any way, including taking the amount of charge times the field times the distance. Okay? Now, also, as with mechanical situation, mechanics, and gravitational potential energy, we have conservation of energy. We apply the force across a distance. We gave this charge, some energy, but we're holding it there. It's not moving. So at B, the charge has no kinetic energy. Now we can release the charge and the charge is going to go back to where it wants to be. Just like when you release something on Earth, it falls back to Earth. Well, when it falls back to Earth, it loses some distance, loses distance, and it's losing potential energy until at the very bottom, the distance is zero, and at the bottom, it has no potential energy, no more electric potential energy. Well, what happened to all the electric potential energy that we gave it? Well, it went into the motion of the object or the kinetic energy. So we can say that the kinetic energy at the bottom, the velocity at the bottom, is equal to the potential energy at the top. And we can do that, which we'll do in the next video. We can calculate the velocity of a charge as it moves through an electric field between two parallel plates. Okay? So I hope you found that video helpful. you got to think about it a little bit. It's electric potential energy. It's very similar, I think, to gravitational potential energy. And you, I think you can see that in these equations. The change in potential energy is equal to the amount of work you do. In order to do work, you apply a force over distance. This is our MGH, but for electric potential energy, it's QE times D. Okay? Thank you for watching. I hope you found that helpful. 
If you found it helpful, you can give me a thumbs up or a nice comment in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.